consultant. Today I'm going to do my first empties video and this is just some stuff that I've used up um, in the month of May and there's a couple things that are nonsensy and actually this isn't all of it. I didn't start saving my empties until like 10 days into the month so um, it's a partial month but I'm going to save my empties from from now on. So um, I'll do the nonsensy stuff first because there's only four items and it's just, I don't even know why I held on to them. Well, one of the things I'm going to keep. But uh, So I used this up yesterday. It was just a, a Yankee Candle wax warmer and turquoise glass. I got it at Ollie's, which is a discount store, for $1.49 and I used all of the, all six little tubes of wax and I couldn't smell it at all so I used that in three different warmers upstairs and couldn't even tell that I had anything in any of my warmers so if I run across that scent again I probably will never buy it although Yankee Candle does make a scent that I'm obsessed with which is Pink Sands and that was the scent of my wedding when um, me and my husband got married I brought wax warmers and candles and stuff into the the hall that we got married in and it was all pink sands so I do love that one though um, I also used up this little Woodwick petite candle in Coastal Sunset and I like Woodwick candles because they make the little crackle while you're burning them but this one like it lasted zero time at all it was like not even worth what I paid for it which was like four bucks so um, if I ever purchase a Woodwick candle again it will not be a petite candle it will be one of the, the big ones and <laughs> look at all the soot on this I mean this is why I've kind of switched to um, Scentsy for the most part is all of the soot that you know and I trim the wicks. I mean, I I trim them down and they're still soot. And this one is a candleberry candle in frosted blueberry donuts and it was pretty strong. I was I was pretty impressed with it. I actually bought two of these on clearance. There was a store in the town that I live in that was going out of business and they had the candleberry candles marked down. So I bought some for gifts and I bought myself some. So I still have one of these left and I I'll burn it because it smells really good <laughs> and here's another one that's covered in soot um, look at all that soot and I trim the wigs I swear I do I trim them but um, this is from Walmart it's a relaxed candle look at all that soot that's ridiculous lavender jasmine and chamomile coconut wax blend and it was a 15 ounce candle and I'm going to keep this jar. It's a really thick jar. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to, you know, get all the labels off of it and stuff. And I'll use it in the bathroom for something. But my husband bought me this candle. I was having a bad day. And uh, he come home with, with this candle for me. And it, it, it was really strong too. It, I was pretty impressed with that. The first night that I lit it, it smelled up my whole living room area. So I did like that. But that was the four items that are non-scentsy. The rest of the stuff is scentsy. And yeah, let's get into it. Um, I got some body wash. And this one, I think it came with my starter kit maybe. I, d I don't remember buying it. Um, it's jeweled pomegranate in the body wash. And sorry, my dogs. Um, I don't remember purchasing this. My husband may have bought it. I guess he loves pomegranate scents, but I mean it was body wash. It it smelled good. The the bubbles were soft. It still smells good. Um, yeah, I mean it's a 7.7 .7 ounce bottle. So when I first got the first body wash, I was kind of like, wow, that's kind of a small bottle. I you know, but I liked it. I I will purchase body wash again in a different scent because I've already tried this one. So, I'm going to try the Luna one soon. Um, the next one is another body wash that is jammy time. 
And I like jammy thyme because it is like a calming scent. Freesia, lavender, and sweet pea. And it is... It's it's nice. I I really like jammy thyme. I bought some wax in it too. Um, so, let's see. Here's a wax empty. And it is one of the Aladdin bars in Arabian Nights. This isn't available anymore. But I bought it in like a clearance sale or a flash sale or something. And whenever we got it in the mail, I was like, oh my gosh, that smells so good. Because I love like perfumey scents. And this one just, it's perfumey. It's like musk. And I love it. And I immediately went on one of the Facebook groups for Scentsy, like in search of groups. And was like, I need all the Arabian, <laughs> Arabian Nights bars that anyone has and I bought a bunch of them so I think I'm set for a while um, I've probably got 15 bars of this and it's great I will continue to melt that one uh, another empty that I have is actually June scent of the, scent of the month uh, red white and berry pie and I wanted to try it before June so I could give like my you know my thoughts on it and I melted this whole bar um, in my living room area, my living room slash, it's like living room, kitchen, dining room, all in one. I have three wax warmers. I have my Darth Vader wax warmer, which is on my kitchen counter. And then I have my Grogu wax warmer that is on the other side of the kitchen counter. And then um, right now I currently have the May warmer of the month, the bubbled iridescent, and it is on like my TV stand. So I split this entire bar up into those three warmers and my house smelled like berry pie. <laughs> it was it was good. Um, I mean sometimes when you're like in a house and you get used to the smell you can't really smell it that strong and you're like oh that's not really that strong. But like I went outside to get something out of the car or something and whenever I come back in it was like smack me in the face. So I like this. I like it a lot. I think it's a good scent of the month. Um, here's another scent of the month empty. This one was for May and it's the pink lemon water. And I didn't like this one when I first like cold sniffed it. I was like, like grandma's bath water. Um, but once I melted it, I really like it. I like the lemon. The lemon really comes out of it once it's being warmed. And um, I, that's actually what I'm warming right now in my, in my, um, uh, what is that etched gold something core warmer, but that's what's in it. And I really like it. I like the lemon. It's great. Um, here's another empty and sugared strawberry. And this one I wasn't impressed with. I've heard that this is a good, like mixing scent and my husband asked me one night, or not asked me, but I asked him, I was like, what do you want me to melt? And he was like, do you have anything strawberry? And I come downstairs and I got, um, I got my, <laughs> sorry, my dog is doing something crazy back there. But, um, he's like, you know, do you have anything strawberry? And I come downstairs and the very first thing I seen was this sugar strawberry and I was like, I do. And I grabbed it and I did the same thing with this one as I did with the red, white, and berry pie. I split it up into three warmers and I could smell it if I was near the warmer. Um, so I think that I'm going to watch some YouTube videos on like the blends and stuff and what this should be blended with because I liked it. I love strawberry scents. I love a lot of scents. but. I like strawberry scents and I wanted to love this and I do I mean it, I'm going to repurchase it to try it with something else I just have to figure out what yeah. um, and then I got summer rain so this was an old bar that I had that I just wanted to use up I had bought it from a girl um, that was having a scentsy party you know year ago or something and I sh stuck it in my kitchen drawer next to my oven and 
Silly me. <laughs> because it got warm and it got juicy. Like it is a juicy wax bar. And whenever I popped the wax out of it, like it was like, like it had juiced up. But it smells so good. Like a little bit of this one went a long way. And I think that this one's in the Bring Back My Bar that's coming back. Um, in June, like the ones that were voted back, and I'm gonna buy more of this because it's just so springy and so fresh, and my hands are oily from the the juice. Uh, I only have two more empties. Um, well, this is four empties, all in the same scent. Um, so March was my first month as a Scentsy Consultant and I got the the warmer or the well I got the warmer too but I got the uh, the scent of the month kit and it was Ruby Nectarine and I really like Ruby Nectarine it is like so good I've, I've melted four bars of it um, just myself like I think I might be out of it now because I use the other ones to make samples and I mean this is I like it I like citrus like I like this scent like if I had a Scentsy Club which I will make one soon I'm going to there are some scents that I don't want to lose but I'll put that one in it alright last empty <laughs> is a counter clean in Cloudberry Dreams. So this was my very first Scentsy counter clean and I did not know what to expect with it. Um, I like it. I liked it a lot. I like the scent. I like that like when you're done cleaning like you have that, that freshness. Like I used it on my kitchen island. I pretty much used this whole bottle on my kitchen island um, because I'm just wiping it off all the time. And I really I just like it. I, I bought some more. I'm waiting on it. It's going to have to be one of those things that um, I don't run out of. Like, I'm trying it in different scents. I got in the Whip Box for May. I've got the, uh, I can't remember the name of the scent. The Feeling Punchy. That's what it is. And that's what I'm using now. But once that one's gone, I'm out. So, I ordered some more. And, yeah, i am got to keep stocked up on this stuff. Yep good stuff. But that is all of my empties. It wasn't very much. Um, like I said, I'm going to have to like actually hold on to my empties now because, you know, I'm trying the, the YouTube thing and and want to share my thoughts. Um, but out of all these empties, I like kind of saying what my favorites were. Um, out of all these empties... Um, just the Scentsy Wax empties. I don't really care about the other ones. Um, my favorite was Arabian Nights. Just, oh my gosh. I wonder if other people were as like in love with this scent as me. And Aladdin is my favorite Disney movie too. Like it's, I know it word for word. Favorite Disney movie. Favorite. <laughs> um, but Arabian Nights is my favorite and Ruby Nectarine is my second favorite, and Summer Rain is going to be the third. Uh, Red, White, and Berry Pie is going to be the fourth. Pink Lemon Water is the fifth. Um, and then Sugar Strawberry is um, the sixth one, just because I don't know what to mix it with yet. But I'll figure it out. Yeah, but that's all I got for today. Just wanted to share my empties. <laughs>